Welcome back. In this video, we are going to create our API routes and write the code for the controllers. So the first thing which I'm going to do is create the controller. And let's create our routes. So let's see. what do we need um let's say one route will be to get all the notifications for the user so let us call that uh, get private message notifications and this should use the controller and the method name we will Keep it get user notifications. All right, this is the first URL. Then we will have get private messages. Okay, this will give me all the private messages of that user. So you now the inbox. okay and then the next one will be get private message which is like the message with id so message by id okay get private message by id all of this i'm keeping right now as post okay um so once that is done it is get private messages sent okay and this will become get private message sent okay and then the um last one will be let's say send private message it will have a method as send private message all right so we have these five urls we will quickly need to write the methods so okay i don't have the shortcut we have five functions so one two three four and five this one is get user notifications then we have get private messages Message by ID uh, uh. all right so we have all those five methods ready and now let's implement them one by one so the first one is going to be dollar notifications what is this going to return? This is going to return me all the private messages for that particular user which are still not read, which means read is zero. So, private message where I need to use this. Sorry. So, I will keep it here. Where red is zero where um let's say the receiver id should be dollar request user id okay will order them by their created at date should be descending get return response will be an array notifications should be a 200 response code now we are using request here which means we need to inject that request dollar request 
and as far as I remember okay we already have requests so no problem with that and okay we won't be able to test them or rather let us do one thing we will keep these as commented and um, now we have red equals zero which means this is an unread message so let's try that out will i be able to do that um i should uh, api v1 and then oh it's a post i forgot um damn um okay we won't be able to do that so let's keep it like that for now okay i know they are going to work uh, there's no problem with that it's a pretty simple code so let's get on with the rest of the uh, methods and once we have the view app ready we will test them one by one okay so get private messages this is going to be simple dollar pms is going to be private message where the receiver id is going to be request user id which means again i will inject this okay the receiver id and then we will order it and get the result right now i'm not doing any pagination uh, it's going to be too much for this particular tutorial so we can at any point do that but i'm not going to touch it right now uh, i'm just going to go with the basic flow okay so data dollar pms again this will be 200 uh, get private message by id uh, in this what i'm going to do is also actually in all them all of them i will need the request so let's not worry about that <coughs> um, so get private message by id um, let's say dollar pm equals private message where id is equal to input id and we'll take the first one okay fine and then 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 there is one thing if the message is not read change the status okay so basically what we need to do is check if dollar pm red equals zero if we find that the status is zero and we are kind of requesting for that particular private message that means we are going to read it right so dollar pm red equals one and we do a dollar pm save okay that's how we are going to change the status okay the red status so return response dollar data dollar pm yeah and the 200 status code um now let me copy pms uh, from get private message put it in sent uh, and the only change here would be the where clause where give me all the messages where the center id is my user id right so we are done with that as well and now 
the last part which is the creation obviously the most important thing so let's assume we are going to get all the inputs as post so what are the different you know fields which we are going to kind of insert first will be sender underscore id right so it will be request input and then sender id i i kind of keep them same so that it becomes easy for me to later on quickly change them so this is going to be receiver id and then i have what subject right um then i'll have message so this is sender receiver subject message and the red status will be zero dollar pm will be private message create dollar attributes but now we know from our chat application if you see the chat controller um save chat we used to see create the chat but then the final data was basically with a where condition because for some reason um you know if you see we are appending these two fields and when a private message is created these two fields are not present so we need to do a where clause again and you know fetch that from the database so once this is done i have the dollar pm so final data or let's say data will be equal to private message where id dollar pm id yeah okay and then, 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 then let's copy this dollar data is something which i'm going to send status code is 201 and yeah that should be uh, the php implementation so we have all those five you know uh, functions defined here for the controller uh, we just need to make sure all of them are correctly defined so that we don't get any other kind of errors yes um, i'm able to do that so this is the laravel part of it although i haven't implemented the redis yet which i'm going to do later on but to get our view part of the application ready this is kind of all that we need and you know uh, so in the next video i'm going to start with the view app and how to set up those pages Thanks for watching guys, if you like the videos, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos on social networking websites.